to draw a face for you today. I'll be using a nice 6B graphite pencil and doing it on, on cartridge paper. I always start with the eye on the right and I make sure that the iris is big enough. Now the iris takes up a large area of the open eye. So I draw in the outline and the tear duct. I indicate the uh, tear duct in the corner and then draw in the eyelid very lightly draw in the lower lid. The lower lid is always lighter than the upper lid. So I just quickly draw out the outline and start shading, working. As for the eyebrows, drawing almost each hair going in the right direction. You can see I'm blending the graphite with my finger. So I'm just softening everything up at the moment by using my finger to blend. And I will, as I say, keep the lower lid lighter than the upper lid. There's a strong car shadow over the eyeball. Now I've done enough detail there to then start drawing in the other eye. You have to make sure that the iris is the same size and the tear duct is very strong. When you draw this in, actually make this fairly dark. The darkest part of the eye, of course, is the pupil. Now getting the other eye in the right place is really difficult. And there's an eye's width generally between the eyes. And if you softly rub with your finger, you can create the shadow at the side of the nose. Because I'm right-handed, I always find the left eye more difficult and the eyebrow. But as I say, I'm still going to draw each individual hair of the eyebrow going in the right direction.
Now one of the deepest shadows in the face is the corner near the eye and the eyebrow, just there. So later on we'll make that really strong and dark. Now you can see I put the nose, the nose in, the nostril crease between the cheek and the nose is quite distinct, so I put that in and then done a shadow. Now I'm going back to darken the eye and bring that graphite down and round. So the lower part of the nose across the nostrils is in shadow and just look to see if it's in the right place. As you can see, I'm continually adjusting. You have to look very carefully. But with a good putty rubber, you can rub and just reposition features if they're in the wrong place. You need to really carefully look. So I tend to put the nose and mouth in very lightly. Stand back and just check they're in the right position. They, you've got a lightness. All these little points of a face, like the corners of the mouth, give such individual character to the face that you've got to keep looking. Just lowering that crease now, where the mouth, where the lips meet. I've just lowered that slightly. I don't always rub out everything. I think it's rather nice to show where you've made a slight alteration. 
I never draw the outer edge of the lips strongly. I find beginners always overemphasize the edges and the, they end up with um, a really strong outline. So I tend to concentrate on where the lips meet to start with. Because a lot of the picture is created by doing some light shading and then rubbing. At the darkest points are the crease, the nostril, the tear duct. And where the lips meet. This is a very definite line and extends along the whole length of the mouth. You can see I can just lift off some highlight with my rubber. This face is just slightly turned. So the nostril on the left is larger. Car shadow by that eyelid across the eyeball is quite strong.
Now just above the lips you've got the uh, vertical groove of the septum so I can lift this out with the rubber in a minute and any lights on the lips Initially, I'm just going to use some graphite and just blend where the bottom lip is and then lift out, lift out with my rubber the groove of the septum and the light on the lower lip. I'm very lightly drawing some eyelashes. Just a little indication.
this, this pencil is actually a 9B. Very useful to get some real darks around the eye. It's very soft and blends really well. This is the really enjoyable part when you can work it up. You're happy with the position of everything and you can just keep laying down graphite, softly blending it in. I generally go at a diagonal stroke when I'm shading. Just using my putty rubber to get that light back in the eye. With something like this drawing, you can go on and on. It's knowing when to stop. Just tease out some highlights at the end.
because you look at the eyes, I tend to do more work on the eyes than the, the nose and the mouth. As you can see. A little bit of expression at the corners. These are the corners of the mouth are always deeply inside. I always make sure that the uh, sitter has a little smile. You can see I've just used a rubber to shape the right hand side of the face. There was so much graphite on the paper I just needed to clean it up with a rubber. So it saves any obvious lines. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create a face with graphite and putty rubber. I'm going to uh, just add the finishing touches. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>